Okay, I swear to God I'm going to be like five pounds lighter after this haircut. It's been like a month, people. A month for me to not get a haircut. If you watch the channel, you know that's a long time. But we're consistently under 170 now, and to be honest, I'm a bit disappointed with that way in, but... Oh well. Starting the day off like I always do, with a large glass of water, just to rehydrate myself, you know? I always, uh, I always weigh myself first though. Weigh myself, I, sometimes I forget and it's really annoying because like I know I'm going to have a new low weigh in and then I don't because I forget and I've eaten something. Um, but anyway, I'm training earlier than normal, fasted, with Cam the cameraman today. And so, just going to give myself a little bit of a post deadlift PB recovery mode slash activation for today's session. It's so cool. And then I have a haircut in Nottingham later, so. Uh... Which hat to go for today? All black? Yeah, nobody cares, Liam, hurry up. So we are, surprise surprise, in Nottingham. Castle's over there, car is over there, city centre is over there. I will show you it later because I'm already 10 minutes late for my haircut. Check it though, this is the horrendous before and after. We are back up at the top of the car park. About to look over 
<laughs> my beautiful city. So right now in Nottingham the beach is on, so you, you can't really see it because of these like buildings here, but there's like a ride here going up and down, like and just where you can have drinks and stuff in Market Square. And that is where I just sat with my lovely little subway. That's the first time in a while I have been back here and had the time and, and everything to just sit and relax in Market Square with the sun being out and everything. It was, it was bloody brilliant, guys. It's, I just love coming back here. Just so many good memories, you know. I don't even live that far, but I don't get to come here as often as I'd like. And here it is, people. Here is the wonder that is Coach House. So there's the kitchen, and there is my bedroom, Charlotte's bedroom just around the corner. Castle in view, and the rest of the city is well over there. Really. Oh, bloody hell, it is windy out there. It's not even cold, it's just windy. But what do you guys reckon to the trim, by the way? Well, happy with it because. It was 20, 25 pounds, right? I normally pay like 12, 13 pounds for my haircut. But that barber is closed, that's why it's been so long. They've been refurbished. So that barber's been closed for the past couple of weeks and I didn't realise it was going to be closed. So I had like a well overdue haircut. And this is the result. The only decent place I could find was 25 pounds, but they washed my hair. Well, actually, that's it. They just, like, wash my hair and stuff. But the vibe was nice, you know, they were nice lads. Nottingham City Centre Barbers. Decent! Needed a fresh trim. Because we're going out, out tonight. That'll do. You're right, mate. Can I get the, um, cheapest vodka yourself, please? <gasps> oh, my God. That just sprayed all over me. <laughs> £171 this morning. Meh. I mean, we had McDonald's and ate like crap this kind of weekend um, as a whole. So, I would say that's not too bad. And um, I didn't want this to actually be like a transformation kind of video thing. More of a physique update kind of thing. I talk about a lot the need for you guys to take photos, take videos and all that kind of stuff. And obviously I'm in a position where I do that, you know, twice a week as a bare minimum. I upload two videos, Wednesday, Sunday, every single week for the past like two, two and a half years or whatever, right? So I record a lot of stuff. And it's videos like this that give me a lot of motivation where I look back at old clips and I see how round my face is and like how solid my love handles are and you know, I know they're still there and stuff, but they're a lot less, you know, they're a lot more jiggly now rather than just being this solid <laughs> lump of, 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 of fat, you know? So um, videos like this help me, definitely, um, more so than anything. They, they, they let me look back and when I wake up at 171 pounds and think, actually, you were like 190 a few weeks back, so chill out, you know? So I would encourage you guys to do little things like this. It is... Um, it is vain, yeah, because you are literally recording yourself, taking pictures of yourself. You're going to have your phone filled with, with, with yourself. <laughs> but it's going to help you on the days where you don't feel motivated because you're not going to wake up. Everyone who says they wake up every single day and, and feel motivated is, is a liar. Like, they're just straight up lying to you. Oh, no, liar. One, <laughs> no one. I'm talking. I'm on a motivational rant here. People don't wake up every single day. People don't wake up every single day and feel like that. And so if they say they do... Liar. Straight up liar. Uh, anyway, so if you have pictures and stuff, then you can look back and think, oh, actually, you know, I'm, 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 I'm doing okay. Yeah. So we're going to jump into a little bit of footage from this morning, right? A little bit of side standing, posing, comparisons. And we can see how far we've gone after 20 pounds. There's more to come. This is not like the transformation video. This is just like looking at it. You know? Okay, let's do it.
And that's that. 20 pounds down. And I'm thinking another 10 to go. I don't know. I'd have to put my foot on the gas big time if that was the case. But I have something in mind, so I don't know, just, just stay tuned on that one. So the biggest differences, um, definitely in the face, the back, um, my rear pos posterior chain definitely leans out quicker than, um, than my front anyway. My legs have actually leaned out um, a fair bit recently, which is annoying because I didn't really take much leg footage at the start of the bulk. But hey, we'll have it kind of from now for future because I'm going to be doing this for a long time. It's not just like this one time thing, you know, I'm going to be doing it over and over and over again. So one thing that you guys will know if you um, watch videos kind of a lot or follow me for a while, you know that I have the occasional pizza, I have the occasional KFC and that, you know, that that's happened this weekend, hence the 171 pounds one. I should be really 167 around about now, but just, you know, holding a bit of water. No biggie, it'll be gone in a few days and I enjoy myself this weekend, had fun with Charlotte, had fun with friends. It was necessary, you know? A nice little break. I am not prepping for a competition, you have to understand that. I, I am not, I'm just doing this for me, literally, just for me. I want to feel a bit better about myself, I want to lose weight, I want to see how far I can get, but I'm also not prepping for a competition. And so I don't have that date in mind. As long as I kind of get to that, that, that 165 pound target, then I'm okay really. I, you know, it could be in, in a week, it could be in a month. I don't know. I, do you, see, do you see what I mean? It's a difficult kind of situation because people are like, Liam, you should be shredded. Oh my God, you love the gym. You go to the gym so much. Oh, you should be absolutely shredded. It's like, well, no. I've been losing like a pound a week for, you know, a few months now. And it's working. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing until I feel like I've got to the stage where I'm happy and then I can go into a lean bulk. Simple as. Anyway, if you feel like I'm, I'm talking... Uh, holding my nose, it's because my, my allergies are uh, <laughs> playing up. Hay fever is a wonderful thing. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you have enjoyed it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for your support. Together, we will grow. And I will see you 